It's right. another week of news. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the bonus episode. Let's talk about the news. Have you ever seen so much news? Um, man. Uh, <laughs> also, yeah. We so last week we recorded our episode that goes out on the weekend in advance, which is a thing we don't usually do. A triumph for us. We tend to be pretty (laughs) topical, but that's why if you were listening last week and one of those worst days in history happened and you had that sinking feeling in your stomach that comes once every few months in history now where everything's going to go really badly and the end of the world is happening. And then you listened to our podcast to hear from us our thoughts on it. And you just heard us yelling about Ape Fest and Dupe Snog (laughs) because we recorded that before it happened. So... But now it's been like a week, and now I don't know if there's really much for us to say after the fact either, because we have covered Roe versus Wade on the show before. Look, uh, we can't change the way we live our lives. You can't, <laughs> you can't stop banking episodes two days in advance because Roe versus Wade suddenly gets overturned <laughs> that week. That's un- impossible to know about. We should have doubled down and entitled the episode Roe versus Wade Emergency Podcast, and then. <laughs> <laughs> everyone would be clicking on it very excited to hear our thoughts only to get the elon musk coverage and that would be good i think for you yeah, nasty or, worms or we talk about star wars as nice. is the tradition around here the new obi-wan show have you seen it i have not i've heard it's good i saw it it was okay it's you know it's kind of weird because and they managed to do a good job considering this is the premise but he you know it's about the interregnum between the prequels and the og movies and so basically the, it, Andrews, you can't just tell us now. We have to wait till a terrible event happens. Yeah, until World <laughs> War Three pops off again. We're saving that for the next like uh moment of well, I won't tell you what I, I won't tell you what happens in it, but I'll tell you the I mean it's impressive considering that the gist is just a guy in a cave like looking at a little boy with binoculars for 18 years. Right? That's Story what in my life, man. Yeah. But they managed to make some interesting things happen. Yeah. The boy the boy go in a pool. They don't have pools on Tatooine. They That's trick sucks. question. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't think they have um, where would they it's a waste of moisture is what it is. Although I, I think LA is pretty much Tatooine and they have pools everywhere over there. So Obi Wan is like a a file? I guess I guess he's waiting for the maturity. But I mean it's not to fuck him, it's to make him a Jedi. You know, that's just what he's turned on by. I guess. Or that's like, he's, like, he likes grooming kids into being <laughs> a Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think, I'm going to say they don't have pools because if you remember, Luke's Speaking of Catholics, uncle, <laughs> Luke's <laughs> uncle and aunt are moisture farmers. So they don't have a lot of more. So the moisture goes into whatever the fuck they're doing with that. Well, they just send the boy out into the fields and they're like, really get, dig, dig a deep hole now young luke and then they he starts sweating they scoop it off into a vial and like, this will sell for a lot of cash luke's uncle just tries really hard to make luke's aunt horny and then <laughs> collects the moisture <laughs> 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 she's in the clockwork orange chair just seeing a sizzle reel of denzel uh washington <laughs> yeah these like sells jars that say like it's it's not actually pee no one knows what it is <laughs> who's it who's a celebrity older women enjoy oh you get like Richard Gere. Or some shit. yeah oh burt reynolds yeah, there you go. We have I'm the best selling. of Burt Reynolds here, Quarsh or whatever her name was. I am a humble moisture farmer. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Your droids are not being used to show holograms of Burt Reynolds to my wife. <laughs> Our R2-D2's in the back. He's <laughs> got that thing's coming out of his head. Don't hologram my wife. Aunt May, that's her name. Shout out to Aunt May. Shout out. Are you sure that isn't Spider-Man? No, I'm not sure. (laughs) Is is Spider-Man's uncle Uncle Ben from the right? Yeah. Yes. That's insane. I bet they they originally had a deal with the rice company and they're like, oh, this is weird. And they made a point. That's what I've heard. (laughs) That's what you've heard. (laughs) 
<laughs> what would the deal with the rice company be? Hey, you like Spider Man, right? When you think about spiders, do you like thinking about keeping grains in your home and then cooking them? Yeah, it was just Uncle Ben raising a nerd uh, to make rice in New York City, I guess. Then he got okay, I wouldn't follow up on this if it wasn't good, but his adopted mo- mother's name is Shmi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. So is he Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> his traditions are Jewish. They don't really touch on it in the film because they're trying to get the whole force thing across. But he like had a bar mitzvah and um, is Tatooine, he goes to temple. It just sounds is you know, Tatooine I know, Israel. I know it sounds like that. Is Tatooine what Israel? <laughs> I mean, I would argue that Tatooine is Palestine. Okay, the unfertile crescent. But you can call it that. <clears throat> Folks, we have a hell of a show for you today. There's so much right in the news, you know, and just like it is now I- illegal to uh, what was my segue for this? 